In today's corporate landscape, Microsoft's rollout of Copilot marks a significant milestone delivering sophisticated AI-driven functionalities designed to enhance productivity. Unfortunately, effectively deploying Copilot within large organizations is burdened with a significant challenge. To avoid errors, Copilot necessitates meticulously organized and secured data. Regrettably, the reality for many enterprises is a cluttered environment with numerous sites and disorganized libraries marked by poorly managed access permissions. This presents a considerable operational risk for the managers of these M365 environments. They want to launch Copilot, but their environments are not ready. To mitigate these risks and promote the adoption of Copilot, Microsoft has introduced the Restricted SharePoint Search feature, which enables organizations to specify which SharePoint sites Copilot can access, although this is limited to a maximum of 100 sites. While this might seem a logical feature, it carries with it an alarming drawback. Activating RSS disables SharePoint search across any SharePoint site not included in the Copilot access list. Evidently, Copilot's access to SharePoint data is intrinsically tied to SharePoint search. So to block Copilot's access to a SharePoint site, you must also block search. This creates a bizarre paradox where the cluttered sites and libraries that benefit the most from search are the ones that must be denied search in order to separate them from Copilot. Such a drastic reduction in search capability can significantly impede the ability to effectively locate and utilize vital corporate resources, potentially crippling daily operations and severely impacting overall productivity. These ramifications necessitate a reconsideration of the RSS approach. A more viable solution would involve enhancing the SharePoint Administrator's dashboard to include options that allow toggling search functionality and Copilot access separately on a per-site basis. This adjustment would afford a finer level of control over both security and operational efficiency, enabling a balanced approach to separately leveraging the benefits of Copilot while managing the essential utility of SharePoint's search capabilities. Until such controls are implemented, it would be prudent to restrict Copilot access to a select few users within the organization that truly understand how to use it safely in an uncurated M365 environment. A more expensive but superior solution would be to initiate a new M365 tenant for your organization, one where you carefully begin to rebuild your intranet following best practices and roll out Copilot there. Obviously, this is a very dynamic situation and is likely to change at a moment's notice. If you find that this information is no longer accurate, please leave a comment below so that we can update the video or attend one of our webinars and let us know in person. Thanks for watching.